Hello and welcome to the Hedonistic Way Online Summit. I am your host, Renee May, and I am here with an absolute, amazing, divine, badass woman in the sexiest way. <laughs> We are going to have unadulterated pillow talk with mm. global thought leaders who are kicking ass in life and in business. They're disrupting the status quo and living life in a stereo, untypical way. Alla Hall is a manifesting powerhouse. She is a tantric goddess. She is the creator of the Quantum Woman's Way. She is with me today and we are going to have an intimate conversation about all things sexuality and what we can do in business to manifest our dreams but how we can use our sexuality and why we even need to and maybe even what Tantra actually is. Um, so yeah, welcome my darling. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sister <laughs> beautiful, beautiful woman for having me. I'm really, really privileged to be here. Thank you for having me in your bedroom with you. Yes, I forgot to mention that. We are in Ella Hall's bedroom mm. and I want to start off by asking you some really serious questions. Mm. I feel like we're in bed together and we're having this pillow talk mm -hmm. and it's only fair I get to know your nickname. <laughs> what kind of a nickname? Do you have a nickname? Ella. Ella? Mm -hmm. That's it? Yep, that's it. Beautiful. Yeah. Ella means uh, a few things yeah. in different languages. So a few of my clients have come in before and said, do you know what Ella means in Greek? Ah, oh, wow. And I said, no. And they said, come. And I was like, ah. Oh. <gasps> Do you know what Ella means in Hebrew? And they said no. And uh, I said it means goddess. And they were like, oh. Wow. Yeah. So Ella kind of, for me, is an all encapsulating, beautiful mm. name. It says it all. Beautiful. Mm. Awesome. That's so you. It is so, so you. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> oh. Okay. And what is on your bedside table? Well, let's have a look, shall we? I have a candle, mm -hmm. I have my beautiful lava lamp, mm -hmm. I have my special vibe from Honey Birdette, which beautiful. is always there, um, and occasionally I have my jade egg, Yeah. but right now I took that with me on a holiday and it's still in the bag, <laughs> I haven't unpacked yet. Nice, I love my jade, my mm. yoni eggs are on my bedside table too, mm. I love them, mm. awesome. And what is turning you on at the moment? Well, right now, the biggest turn on is actually being in bed with you, you beautiful <laughs> woman, um, and having a camera pointing at my bed, which has not ha like happened uh, ever. <laughs> so that's really exciting. Um, yeah, the things that turn me on most in life are business, entrepreneurship, getting shit done, making shit tangible in real life here and now mm. and then also sacred sexuality yeah. weaving and channeling creativity innovation inspiration color light mm. light weaving into every facet of, of our lives and yeah. bringing those two things together is like a cataclysmic yeah. orgasmic heaven for me mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely and just when you say that you know i think that for such a long time, we tried to separate all elements and areas of our life, you mm. know, like we were kind of, I know I was brought up to be, you know, it's like you leave work at work, you leave home at home, leave it at the mm. door, you know, um, what is that other one? Um, you work to live, you don't live to work, you know, all of those things. Mm. And, but now I find the more I cross pollinate them mm. and the more light I thread through all of them, mm. the more pleasure I get and the more I perform at my optimum level, you know, peak performance, mm. you know. So, yeah, I 
yeah, I dig that and I absolutely agree. I think it makes a big difference. Well, so do I. They're, they're all one in the same because, I mean, when people come and see me for tantric bodywork, my business name is Conscious Business and Lifestyle Solutions. Yeah. I'm a business coach as well as a sacred sexuality educator. Yeah. But they're not different. They are one in the same thing. Absolutely. You take you into the bedroom, you take you into yeah. the boardroom, you take you into your family, you take you into every interaction, every experience that you ever have. Absolutely. And when you, like it's what you said, it's like when you can light weave and be in pleasure, mm. in that state of inner turn on, mm. and you're like literally turning yourself on from within yourself, it actually, you know, emanates from every cell, tissue, fiber, muscle, bone of your physical being out into your orbit mm. and can then impact and affect positively and productively absolutely. everything we touch. Yeah. We can literally weave gold. Yeah. Absolutely. With that energy. Absolutely. And you know, and that's what I love about the, the hedonistic way, right? And today mm. we're talking about sexuality and, and business. Mm. Um, so it crosses over into service as well. But for me, I go, it has our birthright mm. that we are, we have sexuality and we have self and we have spirit, you know, and those three things we need to actually align and breathe life into before we even serve, you know, yeah. before we even rock up to work that day, mm -hmm. you know, I think that that's a big, big difference, absolutely. I want to talk about what you do, mm -hmm. but first of all, I want to talk about, because I don't know whether you get it all the time, but I want to talk about what Tantra is and how it even looks and rolls out in everyday life and mm -hmm. business for the average person or for the everyday person, you know, for each of us. Because for a long time, I looked at Tantra or I mm -hmm. thought of Tantra as having sex for 24 hours straight mm -hmm. and getting myself into some, you know, funky ass position. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, yeah. and that's what I thought Tantra was. Or I was thinking about it this morning, or I think about American Pie and that dude who had sex with Stifler's mum. Okay. You yeah. know, and he was at the, who, I can't think of his name, so you'll have to let me know if you guys remember it. Um, you know, so him, and they were into Tantra. So I think that we have this probably, you know, this misperception about what it actually is. So mm -hmm. can you tell us more about Tantra, but how it actually rolls out and looks in everyday life? Beautiful, it would be my pleasure. I really have taken it as one of my missions on this planet is to awaken people to what Tantra is not first mm. and then to really educate and inspire them to what it is. Um, so let's go through what it's not. Yep. Yeah. The biggest lie that we in the Western world believe is that Tantra is all about sex. Yeah. It's absolutely not. It goes so far beyond the physical body, it's ridiculous. It's bringing all of those beautiful pieces that you just mentioned before, spirit, body, mm. mind, soul, self, intention, all of it comes into it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll get back into that in a moment. What else it's not? So I, these are the things that came to me so often. I've, I've worked as a tantrika now for three years and worked with hundreds and hundreds of men, women, couples. And very often the same things kept getting said to me. Mm. You know, I've been um, mislabeled a sex worker, a witch, um, all different kinds of things. And none of that is true. Mm. I take what I do really seriously, enjoy and love. I'm yeah. a sacred sexuality guide. And um, yeah, I'm here to educate. Yeah? yeah. So people think that they're going to be cheating on their partner to mm. see a tantrika yeah. or, or a tantric practitioner. Um, my response to that is absolutely not. Yeah. Do your research though about the practitioner. Yeah. Find someone with really high integrity um, because there's a lot of people like Tantra is a buzzword now mm. and a lot of people like absolutely. you know who do glorified rub and tug and I'm not taking away because yeah. that is an important thing and people need that out there mm. but you know that's what they say it is. They say it's Tantra. It's, it's not. Yeah. Um, so what else? Um, you know this is, this is the oldie but a goodie. I'm too dot 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 or I'm not 
enough dot 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 if that makes sense so mm -hmm. I'm either I'm too fat I'm too old uh, I'm I'm not spiritual enough uh, I'm you know haven't got this enough whatever it is mm -hmm. to do Tantra mm -hmm. you know again absolutely not true if you can breathe sound move and set an intention you can do Tantra yeah coming back to what you shared about the um, crazy sexual positions the Kama yeah. Sutra yes yeah um, for so long as well like when I grew up I thought Tantra was all about sex I thought it was mm. gonna be a whole bunch of weird sexual positions yeah. sting is who comes to mind <laughs> having sex for five hours a night in all these different kind of crazy positions yeah look the Kama Sutra that that is a book um, there's 20% mm. of that book is actually dedicated towards sex yeah the, the rest the 80% is about how to live a virtuous life yeah right how to channel your life force energy yeah. into every area of your life yeah. in a really beautiful way yeah. um, and again yeah sure play around with different positions and stuff but that's yeah. in every area of life always explore and practice with well, different that's positions. Right. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. so that's pretty much what Tantra is not right let's have a look at what it is yeah. when I close my eyes I'm just sort of feeling into myself and really checking in because I can get a bit excited so yeah so what Tantra is for me well, the word Tantra means to weave and to expand. Yeah. Yeah. What we're weaving is our energy. Mm, right. What we're expanding is our consciousness, our awareness, our pleasure, our permission, our power. We expand everything. Yeah. Yeah. What we're doing, we're going into an altered state of consciousness by entering an orgasmic state of being. Yeah. Very different from the clitoral stimulated or friction based mm. orgasm. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're learning to do is implode mm. with that life force energy over and over again. Yeah. Feeding yourself with that energy. Yeah. Yeah. Filling up your love tank. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. So then we can take us already full to overflowing into every area of our life. Yeah. As opposed to depleting yes. ourselves of yeah. that limited life force energy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And what has that got to do with business? Well, okay. Let's come back to the chakra system. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Okay, so every person in the world uh, is born with seven major hubs of energy in their bodies and they're scientifically proven. They're called chakras. Each one of these chakras has kind of been correlated to a different area of life. Yep. Our base chakra is closest to the ground, it represents our physical body. Yep. Our sex center or sacral chakra yep. is our one, portal to manifesting, two, ability to give and receive. It's governed by the mm. element of water, it's all about flow, yeah? Yep. Yep. So it's about connection, how connected do we feel to ourselves, how connected do we feel to another, mm. how, how, how able are we to creativity lives here yeah right how can we share this creativeness yeah. that we are okay. um, birth new ideas onto the planet mm. all of this correlates to business how ready are you to give birth to a new idea to really put yourself into it to give and receive to open to the flow of that idea yeah. to um, invite in money lives here yeah right wealth prosperity abundance yeah. happens here and then up here the next chakra up your solar plexus, this is how ready, willing or able or not you are to hold on to that money. Your, your worth lives here, confidence lives here. Right. And I'm focused on the main three because they're the tangible reality. These yes. are the ones that affect us in the here and now. Yeah. This is and where keep we're us grounded, right? Absolutely. Yeah. This is where we're making shit happen in yeah. real time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this is what really turns me on is about yes. how to bring down these incredible inspired ideas all in mm. love through the heart and then give birth to them as a tangible idea that's going to be return on investment. Yeah, absolutely, mm. which is important because I think a lot when we talk about spirituality and manifesting and even the law of attraction to the point mm. is we talk about these things and it's if we write it down, if we set the intention or if we create a vision board, then it's just going to be brought into our existence. Mm. And that's not the case. And if you align it to your chakras, it's very upper mm. chakras, isn't it? Yeah. But where that's what I love about Allah's approach is you are very grounded in that. And it is really about, yes, all of this is beautiful. It's, you know, it's lovely to channel that and to receive this you know, this wisdom mm. and this inspiration and that instinct and that love, 
Um, and now what are we going to do with it? But what are we, yeah. What are the yeah, action we need steps to make shit happen. I need to take That's in the right. here and now? Yeah. And like, as you said, all of this is so important. It's about yeah. the integration of both. Yes. And and really when they can integrate, and this is actually, as you can see, if I'm, I'm moving my hands a lot because for me it's, autom it's automatic. I'm mm. bringing down and up simultaneously to meet at my epicenter, mm. both my masculine and feminine energy also. Mm. Yeah, yes. and that's what else Tantra does. Yeah. It awakens your Kundalini serpents, yes. Ida and Pingla, which then spiral and weave through each and every chakra. And basically, they are aligning your feminine and masculine energy. So if you can imagine that you're balanced, you're open to giving and receiving yeah. through each chakra. Yeah. Every area of your life is going to get better. Yes. You're going to be able to speak to like better relationships. Like what's yeah. business based on? It's based on relationships. It's yeah. based on communication, connection, yeah. heart. Are you passionate? Are you purposeful? Do you have a vision? Yeah. Can you see that vision clearly and express your vision? Yeah. Yeah. Can you can you fully align your self worth with that vision? Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing. When we enter an orgasmic state through tools such mm. as Tantra, because Tantra for me is a tool. Yeah. Um, I don't teach traditional Tantra, by the way, I really want to make that clear. I teach Neo Tantra, yeah. which is non-ejaculatory orgasmic Tantra. Yeah. I don't believe in anything dogma, no rules, no regulations, I believe mm. in education. So I educate people, I give yeah. them skills and tools, and then yeah. educate them as to how they can best use these skills and tools mm -hmm. to serve them in every area of their life. Yes, yeah. Mm. I once had it, this is probably side note, I, and I, I don't know if I've told you about it, I once had a session with somebody um, and they told me like how I should be doing it, how I should be not doing it, how I should not, how I should stop sleeping in the same bed as my partner. Um, oh like how often like there was a certain period of time that I shouldn't orgasm and he shouldn't orgasm and then we can introduce it and then you have to like you commit have to commit to this practice of a minimum of an hour every night mm. and I walked away and I just went I oh, like I've been with I've been talking about my partner before but mm. we've slept together nearly every single night for 18 and a half years mm. I love sleeping with my partner you know yeah. but even beyond that is have like do we have another room for him <laughs> you know like but we've wow. got two kids you know so mm. it wouldn't have been sustainable and I hated it having so many rules mm. you know so I love what you say there about here are the tools yeah, and I think, look, what you're saying for me as well, if that was someone telling me to fit into that box, yeah. to me, my rebel inside me goes, I'm yeah, sorry, it doesn't, it doesn't flow for me. Like, yeah. it doesn't feel good. That's shit fun. Um, so find what works for you. Like, some yeah. people out there are really, they would love that order and that structure and maybe even that little yeah. bit of regulation. Yeah, good um, point. That said, though, I have witnessed people who have tried to fit in fit in mm. with a regulated approach, especially around the non-ejaculatory, mm. like don't orgasm for this yes. amount of time. And it's almost yeah. like you watch, like someone has a wet dream and I, I've, I've seen them crumble in shame. And Aww. it's just, that to me is not sexual liberation, sexual empowerment. Yeah. It's sexual de degradation Absolutely. on such a primal level. Absolutely. And for me, I was just like, okay, well, I don't believe in that. I just yeah. believe in if you choose, yeah. like I believe each one of us is a free will sovereign Absolutely. being. Absolutely. We have one superpower on this planet, it's our power of choice. Yeah. So let's get really educated and make really good choices for ourselves. Yeah. And if we do choose to ejaculate, which I do, occasionally mm. I really want to have a clear or stimulated orgasm, but then I actually have skills and tools to be able to take that energy back for me. That's yes. Right? Yeah. That that Absolutely. feels really good, really nourishing, really sustainable, and I get the best of both worlds. Yes, exactly. You know, because I, I am agree. a human living on yeah, this planet. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. I yeah, that absolutely resonates with me. Mm. So backtracking a little bit is before you were talking about how we you're weaving energy through the chakras, mm -hmm. so to speak. Um if I can put that into really kind of basic terms mm -hmm. and correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. but really at the end of the day, if you know We've all experienced, you know, having 
a healthy sex life mm. always feels amazing. Mm. Like it actually gives you energy, you feel good, you know, you just kind of go about life and there's a certain, there's a buzz. Aging yeah. agent. Seriously, yeah. you will turn back the clock. Yeah, you yeah. just feel good, you know, and and that is just at the most basic, even if I would say if it is like a clitoral orgasm all the time, you know, like you still kind of feel good, mm -hmm. you know, if it's in a healthy relationship. But once you move beyond that, and I mm. think that's what we're exploring now, is that, you know, most people know that it feels good. When we've got a healthy, vibrant sex life, mm -hmm. we feel good. And that the ripple effect of that goes out into every area. But what we're discussing here is to how to really harness that, mm. activate that, mm. and use it as a powerful, potent tool yeah. to create an amazing life, business, connection, relationships, everything. Yeah. Isn't it like that's what we're doing? It's like we're putting that 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 we're already experiencing on steroids, right? <laughs> It's supercharging yeah. and amplifying all that you are. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, like, the biggest takeaway, if, if, if people take nothing away but this, Tantra is all about you. It's self is, mm. not selfish. Yeah. It's literally about meeting yourself and filling mm. yourself up. Absolutely. It's when your masculine energy meets your feminine energy from within mm. and you actually marry yourself. You fall in love mm. with yourself. You're already totally, mm. you know, combined, committed to self-love. Yeah. Yeah, on the deepest, deepest level. And it's a practice, much like yoga or meditation. Absolutely. It's something we've got to keep recommitting to and coming back to. But yeah. yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I was having a conversation with one of my friends about this a couple of weeks ago and um, I stumbled across this and well I say stumbled but it really came to me in meditation mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people have said that I was going through a kundalini awakening mm -hmm. a couple of years ago it could have just been a really friggin shit time a breakdown to get to a breakthrough yeah. whatever it was <laughs> like it was shit before it got good, I yeah. can tell you that. But I was guided mm. to just self-pleasure my way through it. Yeah. Because I found that in traditional meditation, I was still second-guessing myself. Mm -hmm. And I was still going, was that really my higher self? Was that my soul? Was that guidance? Or was that just my mind playing tricks on me? And it was just creating more and more doubt within yeah but I found that when I self-pleasured there was it was undiluted unfiltered information mm. that I was at one with the universe and it was it was unquestionable mm. as to whether I was connecting with spirit or higher self because when you're in that space nothing your mind nothing else can penetrate that can penetrate into that space. So that's how I found it. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. beautifully said. Thank you. But after that, it's funny because when you're in a relationship, you know, it's and I had this conversation with my friend is if your if your partner's in the house mm -hmm. but you're feeling the need to self pleasure it's like, oh, but, you know, I can just go and make love with my partner. Mm -hmm. But for me now, they're two very different things. Yeah, good. And as I say, I just trusted what, and now I know, but at the time I just trusted it. Um, because I know that self-pleasure for me was about, it's a meditation. So when you it say is. it takes a daily practice, it really does. It might not be daily, but... I do it daily. You know. <laughs> I do it multiple times a day. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. and that's great. You know, mm. so whatever it is, um, but it is absolutely a form of meditation. It really is. For me. So just based on that, like, um, as part of the Quantum Woman's Way, something that I really want to impart to each and every woman, 
and not just women, this is for every human, mm. um, is that it's about accessing your pleasure power. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe there are four bodies. Each one of us has four bodies. We have our cellular body, our physical body. Every cell has a memory. We have our mental body, our cognitive brain, the software, the computer system that, you know, has all of the programming and data mm. files happening. We've got our emotional body, which kind of sits out here, which is our biofeedback to let us know, oh, you know, sadness, oh, grief, oh, feel a yeah. bit guilty, that kind of thing. Yeah. And we've got our energetic or spiritual body. Yeah. And this is what connects us to something greater. Now, when we put out an intention, let's say it's for business, let's say it's for a business idea, something feels really like big and we're going, yeah, that's what we want to do. We want, we want to do that, make that deal, make a million dollars, right? Mm -hmm. But I've got resistance yeah. to that. Not conscious resistance potentially, but I've got resistance stored in one or maybe all of those bodies, right? Mm -hmm. So when I put that message out, yeah, I want that. But then my cellular body's, no, 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 we don't deserve that. Mm -hmm. And my mind's going, yeah, but look at all the other times you went and tried something and then it didn't work and you fucked it up and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then my emotional body's going, oh, yeah, danger, danger. Yeah. And my spiritual body's not aligned to it either. Yeah. That message gets very skew if. Yeah. And it's very, very rare that I will actually call that in an, in yes. an easy, graceful way that feels really good. Yeah. And that's really highly charged and aligned. Yes. When we enter an orgasmic state, mm. yeah, and I don't just mean about the clitoral stimulated no. or, or friction based orgasms, yeah. when we learn how to actually move and weave and channel energy from our base yeah. through, through our heart especially and yeah. can, can combine those two centers, the masculine and feminine, all of those bodies, it's like a cheat, zoop, yeah. they come into alignment. Yeah. And suddenly when we're asking the universe for what we want, there's very less, just so much little less resistance. Mm, mm. So that laser beam, beam of intention can actually go out with a lot more pinpoint accuracy. Yeah. And when the universe hears that message really clearly, it's like, oh, that's what they want. Yeah, cool. cool. Here you go. Yeah. 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 So it's still an action step. It's an yes. active meditation. Yeah, absolutely. It really is. And just based on that, last year I went through a really... Um, full on time where I was doing a lot of the energetic work and I'd really kind of lost the ground. Yeah. Yeah, the grounding. And, and yeah. so um, spiritually and everything, I was like expanding, expanding, but physically and physical mm -hmm. reality, I was averaging 500 bucks a week. You know, I was freaking out about paying my rent. I'd gone into more yeah. fear, more contraction, nothing could flow. Yeah. The way through that for me was by orgasmic manifesting so yeah. actually using that pleasure power and yeah. accessing that tool and within 24 hours I manifested ten thousand dollars in my bank account exactly what I needed mm. like just because I opened that sacral chakra yeah. I was in my joy in my pleasure mm. I wasn't stressed out anymore I was so blissed out yes you yes. know yeah and I just I put one one step of action in and the return on investment was instantaneous. Yeah, yeah. So with that, I wanted to ask you about what manifesting has to do with sexuality. How are they combined? And what can anybody watching do or start to be aware of to yeah. bring that to life? Because you go, like... It's a very, I will say, it's not, you know, if you've been around this space for a while, it won't be so new, but it's a newish, like, you know, manifesting has been very, the secret, the law of attraction, you know, um, but not a lot of people are still talking about how to use sexuality to manifest. So yeah. why don't you tell us about that? Okay, I'm going to be really careful with the words I use, but... yeah. They are sex magic has been around for a very long time. When we're talking about sexual energy, it's the most powerful of all the energies. It's literally life creating energy, mm. right? It's yeah. the thing that we can birth anything with this energy. We can like give life to anything. We can give yeah. life to a human. We can give life to an idea, uh, a business, a concept, a book, whatever it is. We can birth things left, right and center. Yeah. So that energy is very potent and very powerful. Mm. Yeah, so it's almost our duty yeah. to take full responsibility for that power yeah. and that energy yeah. and know where we're putting it. Mm. So a lot of the people that can come and see me, um, a lot of them are kind of usually about 40 plus. Yeah. They're going through the shift in their mm. life. They've done, 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 done this way yeah. and they're burnt out. You know, a lot of the men that come and see me around that time as well have like 
been chasing, mm. chasing women, chasing the gold, chasing money, chasing, and then they've like, I've got it all now, and I'm actually mm. feeling really resentful and depleted and burnt out, yeah. and, and I'm in the hustle. And still not happy. No. Nah. Who and I knew? feel depleted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this is shit fun. So yeah. for them, it's all about like how do we teach them that what they had, it's already within them the yeah. whole time. Yeah. How can they actually reconnect mm. that beautiful energy yeah. for themselves? Yeah. Again, attitude of gratitude. When we talk mm. about manifesting, so often it's been a woo woo concept. Mm. I've created a seven step mm. formula that is fail proof. It's yeah. real, it's tangible. You follow these steps, you implement them in any area of life and your life yeah. will start manifesting yeah. whatever you desire. Yeah. Um, so it's just about doing the little things that have the huge impacts. Yes. Energy, yeah. everything on this planet is energy. Yeah. Energy in motion. It's yeah. just vibrating at a different frequency. Absolutely. So we then have to go, okay, cool. Let's get really, really congruent with my energy. I'm not responsible for any other person, place, or thing. Just me and my response or reaction to it or them. Yes. Cool? Take full ownership for the choices that we make. Yes. Understand that if we make a choice in fear, the energy associated yes. with that choice is vibrating at a very different frequency than yes. if we made that choice from an attitude of gratitude or from a mm. space of love, openness, or expansion. Absolutely. Yeah? So that attitude of gratitude, getting a journal, writing down three things you're already grateful for in the here and now. Mm tracking what you already have yes like actually actively mm. owning oh my god someone just bought me a coffee right then wow yes. i'm rich i'm abundant like that kind of yes. thing yeah just begets more and more yes. of the same yeah 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 and the other thing i really really want to make a point of here that's a really huge tool around sexuality sensuality not mm. just that manifesting in general mm. and just you as a person you are the sum of the five people you hang out with the most. Mm. If that, something's not working in your life, really take a look mm. around at your environment. Get brutally honest about your current reality. Mm. You know, if you are feeling shut down in your body, if you're not taking care of your body, mm. if you're feeling unwell, unhealthy, unfit, uninspired, unjuicy, you know, dried up, come and see someone like myself. Mm. Go and have a session with someone like Renee. Really open that channel up yeah. so that your energy can start to flow. Absolutely. And you will feel more juicy, yeah. more more in love, more aligned, and really yeah. get on purpose. Get, yeah. get fired up about what it is that turns you on. Yeah. Not just in the bedroom, but in every area oh, of your life. Absolutely. And often it just takes that one thing doesn't yeah. it you know if you just get that one thing going yeah you know it just gives you the motivation and the inspiration because it's giving you pleasure and you it's hedonism mm. you know it's running through your veins and you've got the courage to then actually use that into every area of your <coughs> life so true. you know which is yeah which is a beautiful thing and so I just want to yes it, it is totally Something though that I can just hear in my head now, mm. I can actually hear um, a few of my beautiful people I've worked with say, mm. but I don't know what turns me on. I don't mm. know what I'm passionate about. I don't mm. know what my purpose is. Yeah. And that's beautiful because you know yes. what you don't want. Yeah. So if your intention creates your reality, mm -hmm. in this moment, what if you could go not the total opposite of what, where you are now, because that's mm. just too incongruent yeah. with where you are. Yeah. What if you could go a nuzzling step Yes. in the positive direction so yes. for right now your life is shit you dry it up you you spent out you burnt up mm -hmm. you know what's one thing today that you could intend yeah <clears throat> on creating yeah as the powerful creator that you are that would bring you more aligned to the way that you want to feel and don't worry about what it's going to look like yeah just choose how you yes. deeply want to feel so right now i just want to feel maybe grounded yeah maybe i just want to feel a little bit more peaceful yes maybe i just want to feel connected to myself and other people. They could be huge things for you. So what yep. one action step can you do in the here and now that would just help you feel a little bit more grounded? It might be go and touch the earth. Mm. It might be to rub your hands together like this. Mm. Do it with me now. And this is just gonna just supercharge your own energy and then just pull your hands apart, just very gently, and just notice what you can feel. What do you feel? Energy. I feel heat. Heat. Yeah. Vibration. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's our energetic body. Yeah. So how can we charge up our hands and knowing yeah. that our heart 
literally runs down our arm and out through the palm of our hands and our fingertips. Yeah. How can we choose to touch ourselves yeah. with that little bit of love? Mm -hmm. That will seriously yeah. open up and start to access a channel. Absolutely. For Absolutely. more energy to flow, for more gratitude, for more abundance, yeah. for more ideas, clarity. Yeah. Absolutely. And just relax. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, and yes, and yes. Mm. I'm sounding like you. I was laughing with a friend the other day. <laughs> We're having this conversation about, you know, a lot of once you know, you speak to people who have gone into this like massive this, you know, sexual empowerment weekend away and they come out empowered and you know they're juiced, juiced up and they're yeah, vibrant. To the max, yeah. And and I said it's so funny and because my friend was like, oh, it drives me crazy. And I said it's so funny. I said because I don't understand why they just always talk like they're having an orgasm <laughs> all day long. <laughs> yes. But I just found myself going, yes. yes. <laughs> And there they are, orgasmic states, you can enter them and experience them all the time. Like, I, yeah. I literally, the majority of my life, I'm in a state of turn on. Yes, and that's exactly, mm. but what I loved about that was, I want to say that it's absolutely grounded, but you said something that I think is really important, is because a lot of people would go, if I'm going to do that, do, am I going to have to touch myself? Am I going to have to, like, you know, they're they expect that they have to do something or like you know groan their way through it which you know if you're seeing you know that is practices and you know there's tools around that and stuff like that but as you said just then it can start with one action that mm. it could be this or it could be feeling whatever mm. you know and it just and the action doesn't need to be a massive action no you know one it can be the smallest thing. thing but for you it might be absolutely epic and that's the yes. thing acknowledge where you're at celebrate where you're at yeah um really coaches need coaches i have coaches like please go and find a guide yeah you know like yeah don't try and navigate through this world yourself yeah um it's so much more fun too when we can explore as curious explorers together oh absolutely yeah absolutely that's right because otherwise you just you know you're flying blind mm -hmm. aren't you and i think i've really spent a lot of my probably a lot of my learnings downloads trainings upbringing has been it's been self-taught yeah even before I was in this industry, yeah, you know, yeah. um, but I'm really learning that the more we connect and the more we bring amazing people are actually all around us, yeah. you know, like we know some epic people who are doing fucking amazing things yeah. and you know what, from the bottom, from the depths of our soul, we genuinely want to touch the world in an amazing way. Mm -hmm. And, but what I love about, and everyone that's in this summit, is that they're embodying it first. It's mm. me first, you second. Mm. And that's how we have to operate, right? Because mm. if we're not full, and if we're not walking our talk, and if we're not congruent, yeah. then we can't actually teach this authentically. Not in integrity, we can't, yeah. no. no. So that's what I'm really loving about just this conversation. Mm. and. Everything that you do, you know, because you bring such you. depth and realness and love and there's no one way, mm. you know. So it really is about create everyone creating, cre create your own way, yes. you know. And yeah. there's so many ways that you can explore your sexuality, that you can manifest like a powerhouse but we have these tools that were given to us you know if we're alive if we are a human if we are not even a human if we're living and breathing you know we are able to use these forces like our sexuality mm. um and you do it so elegantly thank you but so badass at the same time, which I <laughs> freaking <you>. love. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I just really want to make one really important point as well as I'm listening to you. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And then I'm like, porn. 
really got to mention because some people out there watching this might go, okay, cool, yeah, I'm going to go and, and try this manifesting thing and, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm just going to put some porn on and, um, you know, and basically get, get myself yeah. into a state. It's like I am just so committed to educating people mm -hmm. as to, um, look, I'm, I'm, again, do what you do the way yeah. you do it. Uh, but please, no, I watch porn, but I'm very discerning with the type of porn I watch and when I watch mm. it. And that is because it really does change the neural, chemi uh, neural chemistry of your brain. Yeah. Um, it's all about that. Mm. It's not about slowing down. So yes. it's really important that when we're talking about energy, that we are we, that we come into to it nice and slow and we warm a man up, but we warm yeah. a woman down, heart down yes to open her yoni and that's so true yeah i'm hearing more and yes. more of my clients meet me with the fact that they've been in a relationship for years and years and they've never or the woman's never felt comfortable to mm. say to her partner that actually doesn't feel good when you touch me like that yes because he's been taught by a porn yes um so what she's done then is just learn how to shut down her body yes right and when yeah. she shuts down her body she shuts down her sex yeah. she shuts down her connection her heart yeah. she shuts down her ability to really manifest in the world mm. to be a beautiful magnetic woman yes. um, and and then he feels all kinds of resentment and deprived yeah. and neglected he genuinely wants to please he does yeah. but he just doesn't know how so yeah. this is the thing and, and you yeah. know after a while the separation so great yes and the tension so yeah. much but it's really hard to save that. Absolutely. Start having the conversations now. Absolutely. Um, have them in your relationships. Yeah. Have them with your girlfriends. Have them with those you trust. Have them yes. with, your, with your guy friends. Um, you know, bring them into your business. Obviously, not the maybe the sexual conversations, yeah. but bring the awarenesses yes. of this energy into your business. Yeah. Um, feel what it's like when you start coming into your business with your heart open, charged yeah. up from your sex, feeling really turned on and inspired. Yeah. With that beautiful, peaceful channel open. Yes. And just notice. Keep a journal. Like actually track wow what happened when i was already grateful and walked into work that day mm -hmm. and i felt all kinds of turn on yeah right yeah like learn learn how to take responsibility for the energy yes, yes. that's absolutely. definitely it <laughs> absolutely yeah and as you say the the intention behind this isn't about walking into your business and going right i just want a hard and fast bang no. you know it's about okay how can we and that's not that's nothing against hard and fast because sometimes that's great too it is but <laughs> we we'll need a bit of hard and fast in yeah, our life you know <laughs> but in terms of business it is really it's it's about self first isn't mm. it you know and it's funny that i was mentioning before about my partner and self pleasuring and often he would say but i was here mm. and i'll be like no but this was for me it's a sacred practice. It's a sacred practice. Mm. And he would go, well, did you at least think about me? <laughs> and oh, I'll go, I know, oh. it's adorable. And I'll go, no. <laughs> because it's... <laughs> at least you're honest. It's, it's for me. Yeah. And it's, it's my time to love myself as I am because I know that it unlocks creativity and connection and all of these things and time slows down yeah you know you actually come out of your head yes. you reconnect to your body to yeah. your sex to your heart to exactly. your womb wisdom exactly yeah and yeah. that when you approach your business or your job from that way yeah that is that is what we're trying to say is from that approach mm. um i love what you just said because i wanted to ask you about how people can actually start to a manifest mm -hmm. you know um, what can they do but also how can they begin to explore mm. their sexuality so I love that you said die rise you can yeah. die rise and um, write the gratitude journals and the evidence list of what they're actually manifesting as well mm -hmm. is there anything else that you could suggest to ev everyone watching. What oh. can they do? I mean, I know you've so, got a bucket load of stuff. Yeah, there's so many things that you could do. Um, so it depends. Like, if, if what do you want? First thing is 
get your intention clear. What are you wanting to um, experience in exploring this? What is mm. your reason for exploring? How do you want to feel? Mm. Bring it back to your feeling. Um, if you're a woman, I would definitely recommend things like maybe exploring the archetypes of the feminine through something called Dancing Eros. Um, the Devotional Woman, which used to be Orgasmic Hearts, is another, that's where my journey began into sacred sexuality all those years ago. Um, I became a facilitator of the work. I've loved it so much I've got the tattoos on my skin. I don't know if you can see yeah, that. It's a bit hard. Yeah, they're my three feminine portals. My manifesting, uh, so yeah, radiant breasts, manifesting womb and golden pussy. Um, so yeah, that's definitely an area for women to to look into and the journeys. And, Dancing Eros is now for men as well, so it's really an incredible coming of age, coming online, Beautiful. exploring oneself, finding someone like myself to work with, um, a really highly reputable, highly integrity driven mm -hmm. um, person. Do your research and ring that person and make sure that you have resonance. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. That's yeah. a big one. Yeah, because this is. You know, sacred sexuality and anything to do with sexuality or religion or politics, they're supercharged. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's really important, especially if you're coming yeah. from anything with trauma Absolutely. or, uh, exactly. you know, hang-ups or something, that you know that that guide yeah. for you is going to be the right guide, that yeah. they will hold you in unconditional love but also be your most unreasonable friend and call you and call in your mm -hmm. shadow. Yeah, it's really important. Yeah. Um, Mm. To have someone that can hold that space for absolutely. you, absolutely. Because even in the hedonistic way, when we go through our sexuality module, is it's always the module that people fear the most. Mm. And we've got, we find it really hard to communicate what is currently happening within that space in our lives. You know, let alone actually articulate that to our partners to our friends, yeah. we've got such resistance and such shame and embarrassment mm. around that. So, um, you know, someone professional like yourself mm. to have that, you know, that open conversation with, who can, who's qualified to hold the space yeah. for you. And the deep is inner work. so important. The deep inner work, like my mom is a psychologist, sex therapist, and she's brilliant, right? And she'll get people ready up here mm. to a point and then says, okay, now go work with Allah. Yeah. Right? So yeah. it's like we, we, we can get the software ready, yeah. but then it's really about we are so much more than the software. Yes. As I said, we are the cellular, the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual. Absolutely. So when I'm working with people, I'm working very holistically through all of those bodies simultaneously, which is why the transformation is fast yes. and lasting. Yes. You know, because I spent years and years of my own life, mm -hmm. like I... I really teach my own medicine yeah. um, and I feel like each one of us probably gets into these journeys because we're trying to find a solution for ourselves at Absolutely. some point. But um, yeah, I live, eat, breathe, sleep this stuff. I, yeah. I have done my whole life. I never ask anyone to do something that hasn't absolutely worked for myself. Mm. Um, so it's really important to do your research but also understand that you're not broken, mm. that anything that you're experiencing now, whether it be um, you know, something sexual related, a block around business, a block around being able to manifest, a block in your relationship, a block in you personally, like a self-saboteur, an addiction, whatever it is, it can all be healed when we just give ourselves permission to relax and to yeah. find some coaching around it. Yes. Because you're only as good as your own conditioning, your Absolutely. own blocks, your own patterning. Yeah. Yeah. So get out of your own way and do yourself a favor and invest in yourself. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, beauty. I have. It's always lovely chatting to you, but you're um, welcome in my bed anytime. Yeah, I know. I feel so honoured. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Thank um, you. But if you guys want to catch up with Ella, um, it's ellahall.com.au. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's on Facebook, but I will put all of the links below as well. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask because I know Ella would be more than happy Love to you. answer your questions, to point you in the right direction and serve you in the most amazing way. Um, mm. But thank you for listening and thank you. Thank you, thank honey. You. Happy New Year. Here we are. Here we are. And thank you so much for joining me in my bedroom. Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.